Today's date is January 17, 2018. We are located at the Cook Road Railroad Crossing, or NS's Sandusky District, and CSX's Columbus Line subdivisions parallel each other into Columbus. The Cook Road Crossing makes for a great train watching location due to how busy the Sandusky District is. Another reason why this spot is great is because of the two former New York Central signals on the Columbus Line subdivision. It's a pity that this line is not as busy as the Sandusky Line. Most trains on the Columbus Line travel on it during the night, but on occasion, or at least in a once in a while, you do see a train traveling on it sometime during the day. But unfortunately, today is not one of those days. On an S, we see a southbound intermodal train being led by NS8032 and BNSF 7675, making it our first train of the video. NS8032 is a GE ES44 AC built in 2010, and BNSF7675 is a GE ES44 DC built in 2005. It's still great to see trains pass these two former New York Central signals even if they're on completely different tracks. After that train cleared, I then moved to the opposite side of the crossing. I then caught another intermodal train on NS. This train was being led by NS 2711, CEFX 1031, and Union Pacific 6168. NS 2711 is a EMD SD70 M-2 built in 2006. CEFX 1031 and UP 6168 are both GE AC44 CWs. 1031 was built in 2004 and 6168 was built in 1995 for the Southern Pacific Railroad as 139. A little bit after the intermodal train passed, Norfolk Southern sent a northbound coal train up the Sandusky District. It was being led by NS 7677 and 8403 Elephant Style. As the train roars on by, watch as the weather turns into a blizzard.
7677 is a GE ES40DC built in 2007, and 8403 is a GE C40-8W built in 1993 as Conrail 6202. After the coal train passed, we then moved the valley crossing on January 19, 2018. We first see NS 7694, 9122, and 7524 as they come out of Watkins Yard to reattach to their train to continue their journey southbound. northbound freight. This train was being led by NS4034, UP9754, NS7718, 6972, 7699, 1138, and 3628. Oh boy, that was a whopper. <laughs> is a GE-9-40C, built in 2017. UP-9754 is a GE-C44-9W, built in 1994 for the Chicago and Northwestern Railroad, as 8650. NS-7718 is a GE-ES40-DC, built in 2008. NS 6972 is a rebuilt EMD SD60E built in 1986 as NS6605. NS 7699 is a GE ES44 DC built in 2007. NS 1138 
is a EMD SD70ACE built in 2014. And NS3628 is a DE8044 AC. After the freight train passed, the three other locomotives we saw earlier proceeded southbound with their freight train. and 7524 are both GE ES40 DCs. 7694 was built in 2007 and 7524 was built in 2005. NS9122 is a GE C40-9W built in 1997.
ES8029 is a GE ES44AC built in 2010. NS9834 and 9357 are both GE C40-9Ws. 9834 was built in 2004. As the intermodal train continued to roll on by, another southbound intermodal train then came out of Watkins Yard, making for an interesting show. Leading this train was NS 9936 and 1107. Soon the end of the first intermodal train came and went, 
just leaving the second intermodal train to clear the crossing. By now, there were two large lines of probably frustrated motorists waiting for the train to pass the crossing. intermodal train cleared, we then move to January 27, 2018. We are now located at the East Lincoln Avenue crossing just north of Cook Road. Here we see a northbound equipment move being led by NS 9007, 2562, 8832, 7703, 9955, 6691, UP 4213 and NS 3444. NS-2562 is a EMD ST-70 built in 1998 for Conrail. NS-8832 is a GE C-40-9 built in 1995. NS-7703 is a GE ES-40DC built in 2007. NS-6691 is a EMD SD-60 built in 1990 for Southern. UP-4213 is a EMD SD-70M built in 2000, and NS-3444 is a EMD SD-40-2 built in 1966, first for the Pennsylvania Railroad as 6056, which then later became part of the Penn Central. After the bankruptcy of PC, it was then renumbered for Conrail as 6309, before coming to NS. On the cab sides of 3444 are some small DNH logo stickers. They were put there after NS purchased the Sunbury line from CP in 2015, which was a former Delaware and Hudson line. And now we have reached the end of the video. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video today, guys. Hope you have a good day, and see you later.